It was, in President Trump's eyes, a victory lap, appearing on the White House lawn to repeat his assertion that he'd been vindicated in dismissing the investigation, one that he claimed had placed a phony cloud over his presidency. I think everybody understands that. I think everybody understands what's going on. There was no defense to this ridiculous hoax, this witch hunt that's been going on for a long time. Mr. Miller, what's your message to the president? Earlier, the special counsel was careful to show no bias to one side or the other, disappointing those who wanted him to enlarge on his findings that there were 10 different acts that could be seen as the president obstructing justice. What they largely got was this. I refer to the report on that. Uh, I'm not going to speak to that. Along with the response that's trending on Twitter as a new way of saying politely, go away. I take your question. But he did confirm the president has not been telling the truth about the investigation. So the report did not conclude that he did not commit obstruction of justice. Is that correct? That is correct. And what about total exoneration? Did you actually totally exonerate the president? No. Now, in fact, your reports expressly states that it does not exonerate the president. It does. Republicans fiercely defended the president. He said Donald Trump is not above the law. He's not. But he damn sure shouldn't be below the law, which is where volume two of this report puts him. The former special counsel did seem to indicate the president could still face trouble from his report. Could you charge the president with a crime after he left office? Yes. You believe that he committed, you could charge the president of the United States with obstruction of justice after he left office? Yes. In an evening news conference, House Democrats continued to reject the view of the president and his Republican supporters and were insistent that Mueller's questioning was a crucial part of a congressional investigative process that could end in impeachment. Why I'd like it to be a strong case is because I don't, it, it's based on the facts, the facts and the law. That's what matters, not politics, not partisanship, just patriotism. After a day that highlighted the political division in Congress, one thing is clear. The investigation into President Trump will not end with Robert Mueller. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.